So I have a problem. I kind of like making new Minecraft worlds. There's just something about spawning into a new world and taking down your first tree and making your first crafting table and also making your very first wooden pick to go down and mine some blocks and make your first set of stone tools. I don't exactly love it when there's like miles upon miles of taiga, but hopefully we'll eventually find something a bit more different in a little bit. Well, I guess that's kind of different. There's a snowy taiga <laughs> instead of the regular taiga. And there's also nothing like finding your very first village in a world. One of my favorite things to do when I first get to a village is steal one of their beds. Or not steal, uh, borrow. Alright, let's go on our merry way before any more villagers notice that we borrowed some stuff. Hopefully that polar bear doesn't see us. Seems like this entire world is taiga and ice. <laughs> Seems like. Oh man, there's some hope, finally. Okay, let's see if we can find a suitable place for my starter house. I think by the coast would be kind of cool. Let's put it here. I'm gonna clear this area out real quick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a cave entrance so I can find some iron so I can make a bucket so I can, you know, easily make a farm real quick. Oh, and there's a cave entrance right here. That goes pretty far down. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to base real quick. I'm going to smell at least one of these irons so I can make a shield. So now I have a shield, and I also went ahead and got a little bit of wood. But yeah, let's see what we can do with this cave entrance. I don't see any mod. I spoke too soon. Honestly, I think that's all I'm going to get for right now, because I want to get into making my starter house. Before we do that, I'm going to make a bucket and a hoe, and make a couple of quick farms, I think, because I'm going to make my house here, so probably want to make it... Actually, I think we're going to make two different ones, one for wheat and one for potatoes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is plan out my starter house real quick. I think I'm going to do a little 7x7 seven seven sort of thing. I definitely don't like working in like odd numbers pretty much because you know with uh when you work in when you're working in, like odd numbers like like instead of doing seven if i did eight uh there wouldn't be like one singular like center point there would be two and it kind of for me at least it kind of messes up uh my designs and stuff like that but this little seven by seven should work out pretty good and i kind of want to do something different with this starter house i kind of want to put a little balcony area out here which i think will look kind of cool so looking out into the water i think would be pretty nice that means i probably want to make I, I might actually extend this out a couple blocks so instead of doing a seven by seven doing nine by seven so let's get to building <laughs> Sorry that time lapse was a little, just a little bit short. <laughs> um, yeah, the the replay uh, recording kind of crapped out a little bit, um, so you know, kind of cut like ninety percent of what I did. So here's what I did. So the first thing that I really did was, uh, you know, obviously the starter house here. I, you know, I did a combination of you know cobble, uh, spruce, and oak, and I think this turned out really, really good. And I and I like the design that I kind of did in. Uh, this section here of the roof. And then here's the interior here. Um, don't have too much in here right now. You know, it's got a furnace and then the uh, the smoker here along with a bed, uh, double chest and a crafting table. I'm actually gonna use my, my bed real quick. I didn't end up putting in the uh, the, the balcony things. I didn't, I didn't really think it was actually gonna really fit in the area to be honest. So I decided just to kind of make it like uh, into like a second entrance into my house pretty much. And then leading out from that, we're going over to our farms now. Yeah, these farms aren't anything too impressive yet. I haven't, I actually haven't even harvested these yet, like either one of these yet. So uh, they're, they're still gonna take some time to really grow out and stuff like that. And you know, I also put, you know, this path in just to kind of, you know, give it a bit more lived in feel, which I thought was a pretty nice touch. Yeah, I just love starting off in Minecraft. But if you want to see something that I did when I was a bit further along in my Minecraft, 
journey just go over and check out this video here where i actually beat the wither for the first time and transformed a village <laughs> 